Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Austin News Today. Your time is 741. I don't know anyone who has not suffered from allergies this past week. The cedar has been really, really bad. And uh, you probably know somebody. If you haven't suffered from a headache or a sinus headache, you probably know someone who has. But there is relief. Dr. John Villas is here from the Austin Diagnostic Clinic. Thank you for being here. Thanks again for the invitation. Sure. You've seen a lot of patients this, these last couple of weeks. It's, suffered it's been from crazy. Cedar fever. I can't tell you how, how bad it's been. Uh, you know, the rain's especially the rains today, it's going to knock it down some, and I think you're, you're going to have some relief from allergy symptoms, but it's not over. I mean, usually it goes until about the second or third week of February here. Gosh. Well, and is it worse this year because of the lack of rain we've had over the past year? You know, every year is a little bit different. It's always bad. It really yeah. depends on how bad it's going to get. Uh, you know, this year it's been, it really hasn't rained a whole lot this winter and, and until, until now, obviously, and it rained a little bit last week. But overall, it's been fairly dry, and it actually got warm towards the tail end of, of December, and that's when the cedar plants really like to release their pollen. And you could see in the air, them releasing the pollen. Big puffs, it looks like puffs looks, of smoke. It looks like smoke. Steam. That's yeah. right. It's, it's awful. And it has to do, you know, people always ask me, why, why is cedar so bad? And, and a lot of it has to do with, with the type of pollen that it is. It's mm -hmm. a very small, fine pollen, highly allergenic, and there's such a high level of it here in Central Texas that it just causes a lot of misery. Talk about how it makes people feel. I've, I've known some yeah. people who have just been completely off. They can't right. think. They can't right. really function. It really can be debilitating. I mean, several times this week, I've seen patients that have had, you know, the, obviously the classic symptoms are itchy eyes, itchy nose, sneezing. But especially when it starts affecting your respiratory system, you know, mm -hmm. cough and wheeze and shortness of breath and even for some folks even can, can predispose you to having an underlying infection. So it's really, really debilitating for some folks. So what can you do? Well, right now it's not going to be too bad because of the rain. I mean, right Thank now. Goodness. So if you're, if you're having <laughs> symptoms right now, it's probably more of an infection than it is allergy. But it's going to come back. And so what I'm telling patients right now, this is actually a good opportunity to start your, your, your medicated nasal sprays. So things like Nasonex, Flonix, mm -hmm. Rhinocord. I mean, right now is actually a good time to start because it takes a few days for it to start kicking in. Right. So hopefully by the end of this week or early next week when, when the symptoms start coming back or the pollen starts coming back, you'll be better prepared. And you can take that every day, usually you morning and night or once a day? Pretty safe to use. It really depends on, on your age and, and the severity of your symptoms, obviously, yeah. and you should talk to your, your allergist about that. And some people have um, uh, asthma-induced or uh, asthma that's induced by allergies. So that's how right. serious can it be? Oh, it, can be, it can be serious. I mean, I've seen several little kids and, and even adults this past week and last two weeks with significant asthma symptoms. And, and the, the problem is it's, it's multifactorial. I mean, not only do you feel bad, but it affects your sleep. And so the next day you're not as productive. And so, you're, you know, you're coughing all day. So it, it's, uh, it, it can be very serious. And, and in the hospital, we've seen some patients that have also come in uh, with, with significant asthma symptoms. And if you need to make an appointment with Dr. Villasis, you can. There is the information on 901 -4 and there is a website at clinic.com. Can people make appointments through the website? Absolutely. We actually have extended hours right now, uh, and also we've opened up a lot of schedules for patients. Good. Yeah. Well, I guess many people will be coming to see you tomorrow or a Tuesday. Thank you so much right. for being here. We appreciate Thank it. You very much.